welcome to America again. Thank you very it's much. It's so good to see all your fine minerals. It's always a pleasure to be there. Thank you. And Thank you. now with the sun, finally. <laughs> <laughs> now, come on. Uh, Arizona is famous for its sunshine. Yes. <laughs> you know, we, we get 354 days of sun a year. Well, that's a lot. Not something France can <laughs> brag about. <laughs> no, 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 absolutely not. You, you have some wonderful minerals here Thank from you. France and elsewhere. And mm -hmm. you have one really rare piece that I need to see is Datsun, Datsunite. Da Datsunite. So this is from Saint-Pons, a famous uh, locality in the southeast of the Alps. Uh -huh. um, Oops. Well known for um, zinkenite uh, crystals and calcostibite crystals okay. also. There is some good boronite and a few other things. And uh, in 1976, they discovered a very rare species described in Madoc <laughs> or on Sudbury, Ontario, which name is Datsonite. <laughs> it's almost... Let's simplify. It's almost a bull, like a boulangerite, okay. but every 14 uh, atom of uh, lead, there is one of very light uh, chlorine. chlorine. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, and it's yeah. a little bit unusual uh, chemistry. Yeah. yeah. It very looks good. like boulangerite. Yeah, it does. Or James. And, and this is a brand new discovery of um, maybe. Some of the best specimens uh, known for that really? very rare species. So that's a recent discovery? Yeah, maybe eight months ago. Wow. Joe, this is goethite, crystallized goethite, Look very at that. thick crystals yeah. coming from the little fluorite mine of Hambourneugade in town. It's 25 kilometers from the famous Le Burke. Mm. And okay. this is self collected uh, 10 years ago. Really? Yeah. yeah. All they right. almost have the shape of the famous uh, old uh, goethite from uh, Restormel in Cornwall. Ah. Because usually the needles of goethite are very, very yeah, thin, right, and right. those are very thick. Yeah. The luster on that is very yeah, exceptional. Yeah. Really exceptional. Yeah, isn't that wonderful? I found it in an old collection in France. Uh -huh. The guy certainly bought it in Tucson a long, long time ago. It's a uh, Opal Butte, uh, uh, Oregon uh, Opal. Hey, you don't you don't hear about Oregon Opal much. Maybe the locality is uh, finished now. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, I really don't know. I haven't seen anything from up there in decades. You know, Wyoming, yes, but Oregon, no. It's beautiful water, clear. Mm. Mm. Ah, yes. From the yes. Lukien uh, area in Vietnam. Beautiful. Yeah. This is a cobalt rich uh, spinel. Right, cobaltian spinel. And very yeah, difficult nice to have uh, an entire crystal yeah. uh, yeah. in the marble matrix. Yep. Yeah. And not, uh, not glued uh, because they can <laughs> pop off very easily. That yeah. one has yeah. been checked. And uh, you know that they gave some very, very good uh, cut stone, very valuable cut stones. Ah, yeah. Yeah, the intense color on it. Yeah. It's wonderful. I imagine when you facet a crystal like that, it holds its mm. color because it's so intense. Yeah. Beautiful. Look at that. That's nice. there, this is a very big blue from the famous uh, Lebex in yeah, Puy Dome. Yeah. So that means an old timer because Lebex uh, cl mine closed in 1971. Oh, okay. Um, okay. So this is before, and this is a blue greenish, very, very big crystal. Uh, not the usual color, which is more uh, cl clear sky blue, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, or sometimes deep blue also. But there is a pocket with bigger crystals with a, a mix between the green and the blue. Okay, yeah. The yeah this is big, uh, 20 oh, yeah. centimeters. Yeah, yeah, marvelous. Yeah, the uh, fluoride, the Lebec fluorites in the Sorbonne, for instance, I think, I think mm -hmm. they're all blue. Yeah. If I remember yeah, correctly. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's re very unusual color for that locality. Very nice. And after the old, the brand new, the green to colorless from uh, Langeac area in uh, Haute-Loire, so still in uh, Auvergne area. Are they near each other, those localities? Um, 50 kilometers. Oh, that's around. not too far. Yeah. 
The mine is closed also since uh, nice uh, 80, 1980. Mm. Yeah, really sharp. But uh, some people doing uh, uh, caving uh, found uh, mm -hmm. a nice pocket. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. The oh, first, first growth uh, with yeah. a purple and green, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and the last uh, stage, there's quartz in between. Almost no color. Li li like you can see on that one, yeah. you, there is some uh, green octagon Inside. covered yeah. by quartz, yeah. and then uh, last generation of clear cubes. Yeah. Water clear. Brand new from Mont Blanc, a very, very big one and deep red. Yeah, yeah. It's a little bit intergrowth with a granite uh, mother rock, but okay. that size is very unusual yeah. with a big smoky quartz. And the color is very deep. It's not pink, it's red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's really beautiful. Mont Blanc, huh? Yeah. It's exceptional. Mm, yeah, and only maybe 10 of that size are known. Yeah. And that's a recent find? Yeah, uh, last year. Last year, wow. Is, it, is one of the, th the things that's happening there uh, with the glaciers melting back, does that expose pockets that, that helps been sometimes, and this is worse on some other point, because uh, the famous uh, pink uh, pocket from the Green Peak, this is from the same area from okay. that pocket, um, was discovered because of the melting 10 years ago okay. and now it's not able, we are not able to reach anymore the pocket because uh, the melting creates some big collapse uh, of the cliffs above uh, and now there's maybe 100 cubic meters uh, if, uh, in front of the yeah, entrance yeah. of the pocket so no Not, more. I wouldn't want to be no collecting there when it happened. <laughs> and, and you know, this is a high-level uh, mountain. This is at least uh, 3,500 meters uh, okay. climbing. Over 10,000 so, feet. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Now, right behind it is a big barite. Yeah. We have uh, many, many uh, localities for barite uh, around the Clermont-Ferrand area in Puy-de-Dôme uh, related to a very big fault between the old basement and the sedimentary basin. And along that fault, there is a maybe two dozen of different places for barite. Mm -hmm. And each of them have different uh, shape. And the most famous since the 19th century is Côte d'Abo in Aulois, Puy-de-Dôme. Yeah, look at that. That is so exciting. And in 1973, some people bought the property and dug time to time for themselves. And I just bought their collection. Mm. That is really jimmy. Wonderful. Yeah. yeah. What a piece. Oh, look at that. Yeah. And that's Puy de Dome. Very and famous, very famous name. There is some interesting uh, scepters. Look at that. Uh, like that, ears. That is unusual. Yeah. Unfortunately, most of, of them are almost attached on the gra weatherized granite matrix, uh -huh. but there is a l very thin layer of clay, and each time when you put in the water to clean them, oh, everything pop off. Uh, so oh there is almost none on matrix. No matrix. And even two, two crystals together, non-reglued, are very, very unusual. Huh. There was one other fluorite that we, or barite rather, that yeah. we pointed to. Yeah. yeah, over there. Another yeah. scepter. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, you you, you, like you can see on the front face from the side some extra growth. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Oh, yes. From a famous French locality, Valzergue, in southeast of Massif Central in Aveyron department. Mm -hmm. And not the mine, but uh, um, a secondary vein called the yellow vein yeah. uh, is only, was only mined for crystals. I see. More or less, more or less. Yeah. Um, this is zone. Yeah, and this is coming from the yellow vein. So you have the single yellow and the mm -hmm. yellow with a, let's find a light, a yellow with a... Oh, look at that. Yeah, yeah. A dark zone. Blue, yeah, blue yeah, zoning yeah. Out, on, on the outside. Lovely. Yeah. You get it? Yeah. 
You showed me a little gypsum specimen. From oh, yeah. France. Look at that little jewel. You know, I like gypsum because I've been in so many gypsum mines down in New Mexico, but those little gems are beautiful. Water clear, lustrous. And, and if you put them under water, the luster, half of the luster dis disappear in 10 seconds. Really? Yeah, it really is. It's oh, very, very visible. Yeah. And that one was self-collected in September by my wife, Caroline. Oh, isn't that nice? Really cute, yeah. Yeah, France is not known for its gypsum, but that's a nice little one. Well, that's great. Thank you so much for showing me all these. You're all welcome. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yeah, welcome to America again. Thank you. <laughs>